The following video is not endorsed by Niantic or Philly Free Streets. and welcome to a brand new episode of Lewis's Adventures. I'm Lewis, your host. In this episode, I will be going to Philly Free Streets 2017, which is also an event for Pokemon Go. My guest stars will be three fellow YouTubers, two of them who I also happen to be good friends with and met through the Pokemon Go community. They are Holly of Pokemon Master Holly, Gregorio of Reversal, and Addison of Sinbad, and other friends. Join me, them, and the rest of the Pogo Philly United crew as we take you on a journey through the streets of Philadelphia. Well, I'm about to go catch the Route 43 bus to get to Fourth and Spring Garden for Philly Free Streets. I made it to Spring Garden and I'm heading down to Old City. This is going to be a lot of fun. Philly Free Streets is an event that was started last year where people would walk from one end of town to the other with streets being closed down by the city so people can freely roam them. This year Niantic, the developers of Pokemon Go, known for launching their first game Ingress, had joined forces with them. Pokemon Go was the result of the previous president of Nintendo, the late Satoru Iwata, who played Ingress with his wife and it was also born out of an April Fool's joke from 2015. As a whole, Pokemon started over 20 years ago as the idea of an autistic man named Satoshi Tajiri, who collected bugs with his friends as a kid, a fan of arcade games, founded Game Freak, which his company was originally started out as a video game magazine that was handwritten and drawn, took six years of development of what would become the first generation of Pokemon in Japan, which came out here in America two years later. I have fond memories of the first generation of the games from this era, trading with others and a diverse story that's included in the games. After 20 years, Pokemon still goes strong today with its current seventh generation.
another standard dust skull. Love the instinct shirts. Thanks. Another good one, so he comes candy. Let's see which one of these isn't shiny, hopefully. No shinies. Love the Team Rocket shirts you have. Turns out this is the um, start of the route, not the end of the route. But of course, I decided not to go up to 5th and Indiana. Besides, it would have been too long and too dangerous for me personally. But I'm enjoying myself, and I'm going to meet up with my good friends later today. And you're going to see them in the interviews from this video for this event. Stay tuned. I walk all the way down Chestnut Street where I do some fun activities before I meet up with Holly and everyone else. I also got to meet some people from Niantic who had flown all the way here to Philadelphia to hold a scavenger hunt which started from 5th in Indiana to 3rd in Chestnut with the prize being a poster but due to the fact I started at 4th in Spring Garden I didn't do the whole thing. Please gather around. A little louder Sin, they can't hear you yeah, over Bobby. there. Alright Bobby. <laughs> nice to see you, buddy. All right. uh, is everybody here? I don't want to miss everybody. We got some more people over here. You fucked over here. <laughs> That's how you do it, Sid. Yeah. Get them on the chair. <laughs> or you do it all at once in the whole group. I see some costumes <laughs> over there. 
So guys, shall we all call out to the Pokemon Go players? Oh Ignore sin. All right, show us five, please. I am show How about everybody just say on three, Pokemon Go, and maybe whoever's over there will hear us. That right. works for me. You ready? On three. Everybody say Pokemon Go. One, two, three. Pokemon Go! That's how you do it. All right, see, you got people coming here. See that? You know, the military does it all together. Exactly. Alright, so we got some more people coming over here. Sorry guys, we're going to wait until uh, some more people gather up. There's more people coming over here. <laughs> Army experience always works. After getting my lunch, I head over to Washington Square Park at 7th and Walnut Streets, where I join Holly, Geo, Addison, and everyone else for the Pogo Philly United Philly Free Streets after party for some fun. There was a scavenger hunt just like at the picnic I went to last month. Unlike that one, where you also got extra points for taking a picture of a Pokemon with a Pokeball that you found, you just only found the Pokeball. There was a costume contest with a Pokemon theme to it with three categories. There were singles, couples, and kids. Geo, aka Reversal, is a famous Pokemon Go YouTuber from the Netherlands who came here to judge this batch of costume contests and one that had previously happened earlier in the week. Both he and Holly spent four days in New York City for the October 27th midnight launch of Super Mario Odyssey for the new Nintendo Switch with another famous YouTuber named CND. Both told me that their experience during those days were fun-filled and maybe someday I will visit Gio in his native Netherlands and do some videos with him in the future. I'm here with my friends, fellow players, YouTubers, and members of Pogo Philly United, Pokemon Master Holly, Sinbad, and Reversal. Hi Elijah and Scott, I have some questions to ask both of you for my interview. Are you willing to answer them? Yes sir. How did you get into Pokemon? I watched every single series from whenever Pokemon came out. I also played the games when it came out. So, yeah, it just kind of came naturally. Pokemon Go. Exact same thing. I've just watched this since I was a kid. I used to dress up like Ash Ketchum, including the shoes, every night before bed. That's right. <laughs> what is your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon game of all time? I have to say Charmander, Charizard, of course, and Pokemon Emerald for a game. I don't really have a favorite. I like I like every I like Gen 1. I'll just say that. Every Pokemon in Gen 1, I love it. And favorite game? I'm gonna have to go with uh, you know what? Pokemon Yo! My first ever Pokemon game that I ever played. Got me uh, hooked into it, so uh, you know what? My favorite. How did you get into Pokemon Go and when did you start playing the game? Um, I got into it because obviously I love Pokemon. I've been watching it forever. So when the game came out, I was like, oh snap, I can go out and play. So that's how I got into it. And I started playing 7 Eleven 2016. Uh, almost the same same thing. Yeah, I, I played it when the game first came out. I've heard about the game ever since uh, like a year before. So when it came out, you know, I started playing it. Uh, I love Pokemon, so it only made sense for me to play this game when it first came out, so that's how I got started. And I'm still playing, so. Yeah. Lastly, what advice can you give to people with disabilities like mine or those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos like this on YouTube? Be yourself. Be yourself and never give up. Never give up. And don't care what other people think. Be yourself and live your life. All, I'm, all that matters is you. You matter. You. You matter. You matter. It was a pleasure. Thank you for your time. No, thank you. We appreciate it. Right, take care. Hi, James. I have some questions to ask you for my interview. Are you willing to answer them? I think so. How did you get into Pokemon? Um, I got into it because uh, in the early days of the after the launch, uh, a lot of people were hearing about it in the news, and my son, I have a 10-year-old son uh, named Mac, and uh, I knew that eventually he would ask me to play it, so I actually started playing it just to check it out to see if I thought it would be a good game for him to play, and, uh, and I loved it. In fact, I'm not really that much of a gamer, but I do like to be outside, and so the fact that it was a game I could play outside... I just got really into it, and I feel like it's more of a sport 
than it is a game. I mean, it is a game, but in a way it's the first uh, sport that involves a handheld device. So it's kind of like the first mass, uh, massively popular uh, outdoor, real world, digitally enhanced game. What is your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon game of all time? Pokemon Go. Oh, favorite Pokemon is uh, Dragonite. And Pokemon Go is my favorite game, obviously. <laughs> when did you get into playing the game? Uh, a couple days after it was launched. Lastly, what advice can you give for people with disabilities like mine or those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos like this on YouTube? Well, I actually think it's great. I, I, my advice would be, first of all, if you feel comfortable doing it and if you want to do it, I think it's great that you do it. Um, I guess, as I think about it, it's a really good question. Um, and I'm not necessarily the expert on this, but I do have a lot of thoughts about um, the importance of um, people feeling comfortable being themselves. So I think my advice about uh, anybody, including someone with disabilities, would be um, to feel uh, proud and comfortable being yourself. Uh, so uh, sounds like that's all what you're already doing. I would just encourage you to keep doing that. Uh, be uh, comfortable being who you are, how you are, and then people will be able to relate to you because you're you're you, and you're unique because you're you. Thank you for your your time. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure speaking with you too. Hi, Geo. I have some questions for you. Sure. To ask for my interview. Are you willing to answer them? Yeah, sure, for sure. How did you get into Pokemon? Um, as a little kid growing up, um, basically in elementary school, roll into it with everybody else, and it was just an instant hit. So, as I was like 11 or 12 years old, I also got immediately hooked on the game. So, and then the anime also came out. So, what is your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon game of all time? My favorite Pokemon is Gengar, um, and my favorite Pokemon game of all time is Pokemon Snap because of the, the photograph aspect and it kind of takes you along and makes the experience a little bit more real than it was back then. How did you get into Pokemon Go and when did you start playing the game? I saw the trailer about a year before um, the game actually got released and then on the day of release uh, someone actually told me you could download the Australian um, App Store file of Pokemon Go and that's how I immediately got started playing the game. Lastly, what advice can you give for people with disabilities like mine or those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos like this on YouTube? Um, it's, it's, it's a tough one uh, because obviously you have a disability and uh, what I would do is just, you know, try to make videos that make you happy. Um, and that you can find yourself in with. Like if this is an outlet for people with disability, then that is great because it will help the person. Um, one thing to take into consideration is uh, YouTube, uh, people on YouTube can be very harsh. So if, if there's ever a moment where you're like, hey, this is getting too tough for me because I'm, I'm coping with the disability, you always have the option to just disable the comments. But the general people are relatively respectful and they're trying to understand where you're coming from. Uh, so just keep at it, you know, it's, it's awesome what you're doing uh, and also uh, people with disabilities, it's awesome what they're doing as well uh, and I have nothing but respect for them, so you know, just keep it up. Thank you for your time, it was a pleasure. You're welcome, you're welcome, man. take care. Hi Addison, I have some questions to ask you for my interview, are you willing to answer them? Yes, sure. Ask How did you get into Pokemon? How did I get into Pokemon? Well, ever since I was little, about, you know, Nine, eight years old, I got into uh, Game Boy games, and one game I really played was Game Boy Yellow with the Pikachu on it, so that was one of my favorites. What is your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon game of all time? Well, my favorite Pokemon is Absol, because Absol is a dark Pokemon, and in the lore, it says that he was terrorizing the city, but he wasn't terrorizing the city, he was just warning the people that a flood was coming. So everybody mistaken him to be bad, but he's really good. But my, fa uh, my favorite game of all time uh, would be uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And Emerald. 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 I said Emerald. Emerald. There you go. How did you get into Pokemon Go and when did you start playing the game? I started when the 
first day it came out. The first day it came out. So I just played once and I saw that the community was coming together and I wanted to bring more people together to win. So to win like you know gyms and stuff well yellow team on instant but together people have fun together that's all uh that's the key that we're trying to do bring people together have fun together meet new people and probably new couples new you know new a lot of stuff you know just have fun lastly what advice can you give for people with disabilities like mine or those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos like this on youtube Never take no for an answer. No obstacle is an obstacle for you to be stopped. Every you don't don't use your disability. Uh, don't don't see it as that. You know when I see you, Lewis, uh, I don't see a disability. I see a YouTuber that's trying to go up on the rise. You know what I'm saying? Dedication and hard work will prevail, and you can go up and up when you put in the grind, the hard work. No matter what you. Uh, no matter uh, who you are, you know, you just got to do it, no matter what. Anybody can do it. Don't let anything stop you from doing it. Use your heart. Use everything that you have to do what you love to do. And that is, which is mine, is doing video. So don't let anything stop you from doing what you got to do. Trust in your heart and just go for it. Even if you fail, get back up and just do it. Just do it and know that you got people around you supporting you and help you grow in the community. Just, just do it. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure. You're welcome. Uh, thank you for having me, Lewis. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Holly. I have some questions to ask you for my interview. Are you willing to answer them? Yes, I am, Lewis. Thank you for having me. How did you get into Pokemon? Uh, how did I get into Pokemon? Well, uh, my brother, actually got me into Pokemon and my cousins. So when I was really little, I think I was like six or seven or eight, um, I saw my brothers and my cousins playing Pokemon Red and Blue on their Game Boys. And so they let me play it and I immediately fell in love with the game. So I took uh, my mom, well my mom took me to the store and we got my Game Boy and I've been in love with it ever since. What's your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon game of all time? My favorite Pokemon is Flareon. I have a Flareon tattoo. Also, this is my Flareon tattoo. And what was the second question? What is your favorite Pokemon game of all time? My favorite Pokemon game of all time is Pokemon Yellow because um, I loved how Pikachu could follow you around and I've loved Pikachu ever since then. How did you get into Pokemon Go and when did you start playing the game? Well, because I'm such a big Pokemon fan, I knew that Pokemon Go was coming out. So as soon as it came out, I immediately downloaded the game. I started playing it and I loved it ever since. And what was the other question? Yeah, well, lastly, what advice can you give people with disabilities like mine or even those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos like this on YouTube? Yes, so the number one thing about YouTube is that don't let anything discourage you. Always keep trying and, you know, make a video that you're proud of. If you're proud of the video, then that's good. And, uh, you know, always just try your best. Think about what other people want to see, but never lose your originality and your flavor. So always keep that in mind. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Lewis. After a long day of fun-filled adventures of meeting other famous YouTubers, signing my first autograph, to even doing some raids for my Pokemon Go Play video, I will never forget this day. I'll never forget this wonderful experience of meeting new people as well as playing the very game we love. Be sure to stay tuned for my series about me playing Pokemon Go and my other video about this day. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As I always say, it's time for adventure.